Students across Toronto making their voices heard Thursday, walking out of school as a show of support for the Palestinian people. It's not free Palestine anymore, it's save Palestine. Carrying signs and flags while circling their school, students at Cedar Bray Collegiate Institute in Scarborough ditched class this afternoon as the Israel-Hamas war escalates. We're here to speak our voice and to show our support for them. It makes me proud that we're here standing up for the Palestinian people and for Gaza. Students at seven schools from Scarborough to Etobicoke participated in the walkouts. Organizers say the primary objective to condemn the loss of civilian lives. Whatever the Israelis are doing, it is against humanity. From the river to the sea. From the river to the sea. Palestine will be free. But some members of the Jewish community say the slogans being chanted are considered hateful. To our ears, that's a call for genocide. Um, for the destruction of Israel and the removal of its people. It's very easy to feel dis disheartened. The Toronto District School Board tells us their top priority is the safety of students and staff, and they recognize that students who are not participating in the walkout may be impacted. Staff will be supporting and checking in with those students. We need to make sure that we're keeping um, uh, language that has a deeply negative impact, whether it's harmful speech or hateful speech, out of our classrooms. City Councillor James Pasternak calling the walkouts entirely inappropriate. We can't have a situation in which third parties uh, with some kind of agenda try and encourage uh, school-aged children to leave the school and participate in, in causes of which they have no critical thinking background and no opportunity to really get a balanced view. But students here tell us this is about speaking out for those who can't. We're here today just to come together to show that we are here together to support human rights and we don't condemn the killing of innocent people. Tina Yazdani, City News.